My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and for today's Everyday Office video, I want to illustrate how a new tool called Flash Fill simplifies the solution to a very common problem I run into in a lot of people's spreadsheets. So the problem is that people will type in a date in a format that Excel cannot possibly recognize as being a date. So you see here 6.23.13 is left aligned. And that tells you that Excel does not know that you mean June 23rd of 2013. They just assume, Excel just assumes that you mean 6 period 23 period 13. And okay, well, you've got that text in there, no big deal. Now, what's the problem with that? The problem is that with a content like this, we cannot do calculations now. We can't say, oh, go five years past the date of hire and that's when their contract is up or something along those lines. So if we can't use this as a date, it's really not very helpful to us overall. Now, there's an old way of handling this. So if you don't have the latest version of Excel, what you would do is you'd highlight all the cells in this column go to the data tab at the top of the screen and over here towards the right hand side you have this thing called text to columns and the nice thing is that we've got this period between the month and the day and the day and the year so when i go to text to columns and i tell it that the text is delimited meaning there's some sort of break between the different elements i'm interested in i can then click next and put in that the delimiter is this other option of a period. Now, whatever your delimiter happened to be, feel free to put that in there. Mine is a period, as you can see, and it's going to break this into 6, 2, 3, 1, 3, 12, 1, 10, etc. And so then I'll click Finish. Now that the information is broken into pieces, I can use it in conjunction with the year function, excuse me, the uh, date function. That's equal sign D-A-T-E, the date function. And it asks you to feed in the year, the month, and the day. Now, if I were to just say that the year is 13, the month is June, comma, the day is the 23rd, the problem is that 13 is going to be 1913, and 10 is going to be 1910, and 9 is going to be 1909. So what I'll do here is I will just add to the uh, year here, plus sign 2000. So the year is 13 plus 2000, the year is 2013. Okay, so with that, now I can close the parentheses, hit enter, there is 6-23-2013, and I can autofill this down for the remainder. But as you can see, that's a multi-step process that involves many cells and a function to calculate the information out, including a little plus 2000 in here. That is a really obnoxious process for solving this uh, in, you know, in over and over and over again, depending on how many problems you face. Now here is the simpler solution. If you've got the latest version of Excel, you just go to cell B2, you type in 6 slash 23 slash 13, which tells you it's 6 23 2013, and Excel watches you and says, okay, well, I can see that in the cell to the left, there's a 6, there's a 2, 3, and there's a 13, and then you added 6, 2, 3, 13 with slashes in between. So now when I go to the home tab at the top of the screen and use the fill drop down menu, I can go with my flash fill option or the keyboard shortcut control E. And what it will do is it'll take the earlier entry and say, what is it about this that I can figure out and I can do automatically? So I'll choose flash fill. And as you can see there, it takes all of the different elements, 81904, 819, 2004, and puts them into the date functionality for you without having to break it apart into three columns, without having to put a date function into a cell, and without having to add 2000 to the value for the year in the first place. So flash fill really simplifies a ton of the problems that you're going to face in a normal spreadsheet.